Browns getting ready to travel to Denver. They are 2-5, and five, and today is Wednesday in Berea, which means Baker Mayfield spoke, and there were some fireworks in this particular Baker Mayfield press conference as he stormed off, ending his press conference abruptly after about, I shouldn't say too abruptly, it was about six or seven minutes, uh, but then he stormed off after he was unhappy with the line of questioning. Uh, Mary Kay, when you saw this, and, and as you've had some chance to digest this, is there something bigger here, or was this just sort of a one-off situation? I think it was a one-off situation. I think uh, Baker is frustrated with the losing. Uh, there's been a lot of stress for everybody. This was the season of high expectations. There's a lot on his shoulders right now. He knows he has to get this turned around. And I think the other thing to, re to remember here is that he has a history of butting heads with this particular reporter. So I think you know maybe he just needed an opportunity to blow off a little steam. Yeah, it was a, just a combination of things. Like you mentioned, the frustration with losing. This is not a quarterback who has lost very often uh, recently. Of course, we, we know what he did when he came in. We know what he did uh, at Oklahoma. And then, like you mentioned, he's got a history with this reporter. They've had back and forths before that are pretty genuine. It's not just joking playfulness. Uh, there's, you know, some tension there when those two go at it. So, you know, Ellis, what, what did you kind of feel as you watched this? And, of course, when Baker Mayfield took to Twitter afterwards. Yeah, of course it catches your attention when he storms out of there. But what was most interesting to me was the tweet afterward. He was pretty quick to follow up. And uh, he mentioned that this birthed a real sense of urgency. And I think that's something that the fans would love, will love to hear because um, that's where this team needs to be. And you get a real candid Baker, maybe not in front of the camera, but on Twitter talking about a heightened sense of urgency because this team, uh, as we wrote about, needs to now really take care of this easier schedule they have. And you sensed a real sharp and pointed Baker Mayfield both at the podium and then later on Twitter. Yeah, Mary Kay, I do want to ask you about the tweets too because sometimes an athlete will go on Twitter after something like this and apologize or something like this. But Baker, I don't want to say he doubled down, but he certainly you know, kind of kept it going, uh, kind of saying why he did it and, and reacting to people, reacting to him. Yeah, I didn't think it was bad at all. I think he explained himself, he expressed himself, and he basically uh, reminded everyone that he is a passionate player, that he does have that sense of urgency, he also said uh, that if anything that he does or says offends anyone, so be it. He's got a mission, and that's to win football games. And that's been his message since he came into the league. And I've got a secret for everyone, including the Browns. If you just go win football games, all of this will go away. We'll have coverage of that game in Denver, coverage of the week leading up to it, all at cleveland.com slash Browns. And make sure you check out Football Insider. Click the banner at the top of the page for more info on that and to sign up.